In this video, we're pulling back the curtains and giving you a behind the scenes look at the Zero to Mastery Discord server, which as far as we know, is the biggest and most active private online community of people learning in demand tech skills. If this is your first time on the channel, I'm Aldo, a ZTM alumni who went from absolutely no tech background or experience to becoming a full stack developer. So I can speak from my own personal experience that the Discord community was super helpful in my own transition from my old job outside of tech to becoming a full stack developer. But since the ZTM Discord is private, I thought I'd take you on a tour and show you what it's all about and how people just like you are getting the most out of it. Also, feel free to check out the timestamps below if you want to jump directly to a specific part of the video. There's three main sections. Section 1 is all about diving into what the ZTM Discord is all about and why it even exists. Section 2, I'm going to log into the Zero to Mastery Discord server and give you a brief tour. And lastly, Section 3, I'll break down the different member types. So before we jump right into the Zero to Mastery Discord server, why does it even exist? Reason number 1, to fight loneliness in learning. We created the community as an antidote to solo studying, because let's face it, Talking to your rubber duck debugger gets old pretty fast. It's a place where learners can engage, collaborate, and feel like they're part of something truly special. Reason number two, to bring different views together. The community is a melting pot of talent, uniting individuals from all corners of the globe and from every walk of life. By bringing together such varied backgrounds and experiences, we foster a learning environment that's rich with authentic insights as well as personality. Reason number three, to provide 24-7 support. Learning knows no bounds of time or place. Our community is awake when you are, be it at dawn, dusk, or dead of night. Whether you need immediate help with the coding bug or advice on a UI mockup, there's always someone online ready to assist. Reason number four, to keep everyone engaged. Our community is always buzzing with over 500,000 members sending thousands of messages every month. There's always a conversation to join or a question to answer. This constant activity keeps learning lively and everyone motivated. Reason number five, to forge global connections. Our community bridges continents and cultures, connecting members from around the world. This large network not only enhances learning, but also expands career opportunities, making it easy for everyone to learn from and work with people from different backgrounds, a skill that is essential in any professional setting. Now that you know why the ZTM Discord is so loved, let's actually jump in there and check it out. The first thing you'll see when you join the community is the server guide. While reading rules might not be your idea of a party, trust me, it's way less painful than stepping on a Lego, and it keeps everyone on the same page. Just be a good person, that's our main rule. Don't be mean, don't be rude, and remember that patience is a virtue, especially online. Try to help as much as you seek help, and who knows, you might just become a community favorite. Underneath the rules, you will see our Pick Your Career Path section. We highly encourage all of our students to use this resource as it comes included in your membership and offers you a step-by-step -step roadmap of steps to take to land a career in tech in some of the most in-demand roles. Next up, I want to show you the Events tab. This is where you will find upcoming events that are happening every month and range from career advice, Q&As, and even some fun hangout sessions with your favorite ZTM instructors and other guest mentors. Time to jump into the channel tray. This is where the different topics of conversation are broken down and organized into categories and channels. Our community has five main categories in which channels are divided into, and these are announcements, welcomes and introductions, general, course channels, and job hunting. Not every category and channel is going to be relevant for you at all times. Different ones become more useful and valuable to you throughout your learning and career journey. So I'll give you a quick high level overview of each one. The announcement category is where any and all important announcements are posted by Andre, ZTM's lead instructor, and the team. These can be things like new course releases, job and recruitment opportunities, monthly updates, and even fun community events. Next, we have the Welcomes and Introductions category, which is a dedicated space to providing helpful information for new students joining the Zero to Mastery Discord. The first channel you will see in this category is the Introductions channel. We highly encourage you to introduce yourself here when you first join the community. Once you introduce yourself, head down to the next channel in this category, which is the Accountability Buddies channel. 
Here is where you can find a learning partner or partners to help keep you on track with your ultimate mission of becoming a tech professional. I can't stress enough how valuable this is. Finding someone or multiple people to work with and hold each other accountable is one of the highest value things you can do. The last channel you will find in this category is the leaderboards channel. We'll cover this a bit more when I break down the different member roles, but I will teach you a neat trick while we're here. If you type this command, forward slash rank into the text box and hit enter, BuddyBot will come up and will provide you with your rank and leaderboard position. All you really need to know for now is that every minute that you're messaging on our server, you randomly gain between 15 and 25 XP, and the more XP you gain, the faster you climb up the leaderboard. By the way, when you type in that command that I showed you, only you can see it. The general category is the Swiss Army Knife of our Discord. Packed with channels so diverse and useful, you'll wonder how you ever got along in your tech journey without them. I'll show you just a couple of examples that I personally enjoy, but they're all amazing. The first one is the 100 Day Challenge channel. Many people ask about this channel, but it's pretty simple. The challenge is to learn something new every single day for 100 days straight. Even just completing one to two lectures and writing down what you learn counts. The reason we love this channel so much is that one of the keys of learning is consistency over intensity. Studying or practicing for 15 minutes a day every day will compound and be much more effective than trying to cram four hours into one day a week. Now you're all probably wondering, what are all those screenshots with a golden rocket coin in them? Good question. That's from our ZTM Passport, which is something that every ZTM student gets. It's yet another way we're trying to help our students stick to their goals and stay consistent in their learning. Plus, it keeps track of your learning streak for you. The longer you can extend your streak, the better. I've been blown away by some of the streaks people have shared. Look at this person who reached 520 days. Unreal. And as you complete courses, certain lectures, and hit street goals, you will unlock all kinds of fun badges that you can show off in this channel. Another one of the most popular channels, as you can imagine, is the Help Me channel. This channel is dedicated to providing and receiving support on a variety of different questions and queries, often related to Zero to Mastery courses, but also personal projects members are working on. This is a great place to ask for help, but also to help others as well as helping other people is a great way to reinforce your own learning. The last one I want to highlight is the Look What I Made channel. This channel is like a tech talent show, and trust me, it's way more exciting than your high school's talent show. Show off your creations, whether they're sophisticated as a new AI or as simple as a hello world. We love seeing what CTM students are building and doing out in the real world, because ultimately, that's what it's all about. Don't be shy, share what you've built, ask for feedback, share insights into your creative process, and find collaboration opportunities. It's a great place to both inspire and be inspired. Moving along to the course channels category. This section is great for connecting with other students learning similar topics as you or taking the exact same Zero to Mastery course. Here you will find a wide range of channels on specific topics such as machine learning, ethical hacking, data analysis, and then we have channels for specific programming languages such as Python and JavaScript and frameworks such as React and Angular. You can also see that unlike many other communities, our instructors are actually very active, engaging with students and helping answer questions pretty much every day. Don't believe me? Well, let's dive into a few different channels and check for ourselves. Let's start with JavaScript, because that is one of the biggest programming languages in the world. Oh, not surprised to see Jason answering a fellow student's question. Maybe a different area, let's try AWS. Oh, there's Amber answering another student's question. One more, just to verify that I'm not BSing you, let's go. Data analysis, this is a good one. Oh, and there we have two instructors, Travis and Diego. Hopefully now you can see what we mean by our instructors being very active. Last but definitely not least, we have the job hunting category. This category is pretty self-explanatory, but it's definitely helpful for many students whose ultimate goal is to get hired or change careers. The Portfolios and Resumes channel in particular is extremely valuable in my opinion. That is the first thing employers will associate with you. Think about it, before screen calls, technical interviews, and face-to-face -face interactions, your portfolio and resume are what make the first impression. Having the opportunity to have fellow students and star mentors review and provide feedback on these documents can immensely enhance your chances of landing that job. 
Overall, there are plenty of fantastic discussions, advice, and even opportunities being shared every day in the portfolio and resumes, job hunting, and interview questions channels. I know this video isn't the shortest video, so let's quickly check out the different member roles. First, we have the members of the Zero to Mastery community. You can identify members in the chat by the yellow color in their name. They also appear in the member section of the online user tray, which can be found on the right hand side of your page. And as you can see, there are over 15,000 members online right now. Next, we have the Baby Yoda role. And similar to the legendary Jedi Master, this level comes with a green icon. It is awarded to active members who reach level 2, proving they are here to learn and are engaged in the community. The alumni role is for graduates who have posted their certificate of completion in the alumni channel. You can easily identify the alumni in the chat by the orange color in their name. And of course, they also appear in the alumni section of the online user tray. The Star Mentors are a group of volunteers that dedicate their time to helping the community flourish, whether it be moderating, assisting students in need of help, maintaining our open source projects on GitHub, or generally helping around the community. Star Mentors are hand-selected and invited by the ZTM team when they notice very active students constantly helping others in the community. You can easily identify Star Mentors in the chat by the blue color in their name. You can also find online mentors here in the Star Mentor section of the online user tray. Next, we have the management team. They are a group of volunteers, some of which were the leading force behind the creation of the Discord community and have been a major influence on what it is today. For the most part, the management team works selflessly behind the scenes on a range of things, from moderation to designing, creating and organizing events, and the various systems to support them. To be fair, this is also true of the Star Mentors as well. You can easily identify community managers in the chat by the purple color in their name, but you can also find online managers here in the management team section of the online user tray. Last but not least, we have the ZTM instructors. The instructors are world-class experts who have been battle-tested and know the ins and outs of their field, truly the best of the best. You can identify online instructors by the red color in their name. Here at ZTM, we keep our instructor crew tight. It's all about quality over quantity. Instead, we choose a few top-notch experts for each skill area, making sure they're not just knowledgeable, but super active in supporting our students. This sets us apart from many other learning platforms where you're constantly seeing new faces, and it's a rare treat to actually chat with your instructor. Right now, as you can see, there are numerous instructors online, ready to jump in and help out. And that's it for today, folks. I hope this tour showed you that we're not BSing you. And when you see all the reviews out there of people saying how great the ZTM Discord community is, you now have an idea of what they're talking about and why I and many other members are addicted to it like memes on the internet. Once you start, you just can't stop. Anyways, I'd love to see comments from our existing students. Tell people out there your own story or experience from the ZTM Discord or even your favorite features or channels and why they stand out to you. If there's any way we can improve the community or things you'd like to see, let us know that too. Your feedback is incredibly valuable to us as we're constantly working to improve the community. Thanks so much for watching and if you enjoyed this video, smash that like button like it's a bug in your latest code. Don't forget to check out our other videos for more epic tech content. Until next time, stay safe and happy learning.